Hey guys, welcome to Dylan's Little Hobbies, and today is Movies, Books, and TV. We're going out with Dragon Ball Z. Nope, Dragon Ball Super. And let me tell you, it's super. Hey, I don't do episode after episode review, and I'm never going to do, uh, uh, do that, but the reason why I decided to do this episode is because, well, number one, this is the first time that we have ever seen Gohan fight, and by the way, there are going to be spoilers in this video for episode 79 and 80. And number two, I just haven't had time to see any of the videos lately, any of the Dragon Ball series lately. Not that I haven't had time, but because my internet has been, I know, it's strange. First I had computer problems, and now I'm having just internet connection problems, so I really haven't been able to watch Dragon Ball Super in the past two or three weeks and today I was able to basically catch up on not just Dragon Ball Super but I had to catch up on Supernatural had to catch up on Demon Dragons I had to catch up on a lot of stuff but uh, so I did not see episode 77 sorry I didn't I did see the episode where Momo was pregnant was that 76 or 77? I do not remember. I have not seen episode 78. Though I have heard and seen people do like little, what, what's it called, little videos where they showed something in 78. I have not actually seen the entire episode of 78, so sorry. Uh, 79 I did see because they had a live feed of episode 8. I'm not gonna say who it was, but actually a lot of YouTubers did this. Watched like three of them. One of them I found actually showed episode 79 before 80 came out, which was really cool because I was able to watch 79 and 80. Have not seen the other two episodes before that though. Yet. I, I still have to find them. But episode 80. Well, Gohan's back in action, and I must say, they've done great with this character. I really like the fact that he's super strong, but he is a dad. I know a lot of people don't like the fact that they've taken Gohan to just a dad form. So, I really think that this is going to make a lot of people happy. Now, keep in mind, Gohan hasn't been fighting for a very long time. So, I'm not gonna say he's, uh, drop dead weak, because that's just not the case. I I'm sorry, I just don't think he was as strong as he was when he fought Cell. I don't think he he's there, I don't think he's ever gonna get there. But you can clearly see that he does want to get stronger, he does want to protect his friends, and, and most importantly, his family, his family peen, his daughter, which is really, really cool. So, I'm not, I'm not being on Gohan. Gohan is my favorite character next to Vegeta. If you ask me who was my favorite character, between him and Vegeta, I have no idea. Vegeta is probably who I would lean to most of the time because he does get to become Super Saiyan, uh, Super Saiyan Blue, but... They say Gohan can do it? I don't think he can. I I've seen captions uh, with Gohan going Super Saiyan Blue. Guys, I'm sorry, I don't see it. I don't see him ever being that strong. That doesn't mean I'm against the idea. I just don't see it. Now when it comes to Gohan's fight, well, there's not much to say. Honestly, it was a really good fight, a really good test for Gohan. Gohan was fighting this one guy from, I believe, Universe 9? Was it? Right? Universe 9. Uh, and his powers was poisonous gas? So, not only did he blind Gohan, but he poisoned him too. 
So, Gohan was definitely struggling. Struggling a lot more than I thought he would, but, y you know, I know Gohan fans are going to freak out about that, but I, I think I think they did a good idea with not making Gohan so super strong, because he's really, he shouldn't be at all. However, against his opponent, I think he did quite well. He definitely knocked it out of the park, and definitely gave it his all. Of course he won. And then the Omni King said their announcement about the universes getting destroyed, and Universe 7 being at second bottom. So, if Goku doesn't win the next fight, Universe 7 is going to be completely erased. I almost said Universe 9. U Universe 9 is probably going to be defeated, but that doesn't mean that this isn't going to be a really cool episode. As for the Gohan thing, though, way to go, Gohan. Good fight. I'm not against Gohan at all. I know a lot of people want him to be super strong and everything. Guys, he still is super strong. He proved it in this episode. So that brings me to this question, guys. And let me know in the description below. Let me know your answer to this. So we know Super Saiyan is a transformation, right? Does that mean that once you reach the acquirement of Super Saiyan, you're automatically 1 million? I hate to put power levels in this, guys, but I, I kind of have to with this, even though power levels are complete jack in Dragon Ball, especially Dragon Ball Super. But what I mean is, Pan is already a baby, right? She, she's just a baby. And we know for a fact that she was able to go Super Saiyan when she was in her mom's stomach. So, does that mean Pan, even though she is only two years old, she's almost two years old now, does that mean even a, a, as an infant, I mean really an infant, she was as strong as Goku when he turned Super Saiyan for the first time? In other words, do you have to gradually bounce up until he reaches 99.9999 and then reach a million and then you're Super Saiyan? Or can you be level 5 and go Super Saiyan and that only bounces your, your power certain up? So what I'm trying to explain, let me rephrase this. Okay, let's just say the Super Saiyan thing is 10 times, right? I don't know if it's 100 or 10 times, but uh, if Pan level is 5, does that mean she can bounce to a million times already because she uh, he can go Super Saiyan? Or is she only 50 because she can go Super Saiyan and her level is 5? I don't know. It's just a thought. I thought I'd bring it up. Let me know in the comments below what do you think. Personally, I think it doesn't have to do anything with power levels or anything. I think if you're level 5 and you're able to go Super Saiyan, you're just Super Saiyan level 5. You know what I mean? Well, anyway, that's about it so thank you guys for watching and i'm out please like this vid it really helps this channel out and subscribe for more content thank you